Hello, Mrs. Neumeyer back here again with probability. Now, did the last one make you hungry? Me too. <laughs> well, this one will too, because we're going to be talking about pancakes. All right, so for this activity, I'm going to use this principle sheet here that has pictures of pancakes on it. Another thing you can do if you don't have the sheet or don't want to print it out is just draw some circles on your piece of paper. Or if you're doing it as a class, you can draw it on the board, um, on a whiteboard and do it together as a class activity or have them work in groups using this. Um, lots of options here. So I'm going to demonstrate it here with our pancakes. And I also have some little round dots. We're going to be using the blue one and uh, to represent blueberries. Our blueberries are going to go on our pancakes. Now, the other ones we've been talking about, the chances um, if, if, of the probability of one thing happening. Now, we're going to be talking about a little bit more complicated and a little, we're using a little bit more probability here in determining how many blueberries are going to be going on each of these pancakes. What we're going to be using for that today is a dice. Now, there's six sides on a dice. And so each one of the six is going to represent a pancake. So we have six different options here. Now I'm going to number them. You guys can go ahead and two. So then we'll be able to keep track of which one we're talking about here. So this one is going to be pancake number one. This one will be pancake number two. And we've got pancake number three. Do the number four, number five, and number six. All right, so you can write your numbers on your pancakes. What we're going to do is we're going to roll the dice, and like that one was a three. That means I'm going to put a blueberry on pancake number three. You're going to get 15 blueberries, and we're going to see how we distribute those blueberries through our pancakes. All right, you ready to get started? I'm going to be using stickers. You can use blue stickers to represent your blueberries. You could use a blue marker and color in your blueberries, however you want to do it. All right, so let's get started. Let's see what I rolled. Number four. So that means pancake number four is going to get our first blueberry. All right, there's one there. All right, let's roll again. And we got a three. So pancake number three. All right, roll again and we'll see. All right, that's a one. So pancake one. Roll again, number four. Okay, put that blueberry on. Number five. Number five. All right, we'll keep going. Number two. All right, pancake number three is gonna get it that time. I rolled a three. Now this time, rolling a two. All right, number two. How are we doing? All right, number six. Oh, good. Number six finally gets one. All right, and we're going to do it with 15 rolls. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rolls so far. So we're going to keep going. All right, number two gets another blueberry. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see. Number three. Number three gets another blueberry. We'll put that over here. All right, let's keep going. Number two. Number two is getting more blueberries. All right, number oh, number two again. Okay. And number five. All right, let's see. How many do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, one more roll. Let's see what it's going to be. And it's a two again. All right, let's put it on number two. All right, okay, you can give everyone an opportunity to try this. They can try it on their own in pairs, or you can do it as a class, see what you come up with. Now, a few questions once you're done. How many had at least four blueberries? Well, for mine, it'll be different for yours, right? Because you're going to roll the dice. This one had at least four. Do we have any others? 
No. That number two is the only one that had at least four. Now, which ones had less than four? Number one did, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Okay, so all the rest of them, right, had less than four. Did any of them have exactly four? Nope. None of them have it at exactly four. Okay, do we have any outliers? Now, outliers are a result that don't seem to fit a pattern. Well, first let's see what are the most common results here. What are most common? I see that this one had one and this one up here had one. So th that happened twice. And then these two had two bit blueberries. So I guess our most common one was either one or two blueberries. So our outliers are ones that don't seem to fit the pattern. This one is kind of like which one of these things is not like the other would be an outlier. So I would say that number two is kind of an outlier because it had quite a number more of blueberries than the rest of them. Right? Here's something to try. Now we've we used 15 blueberries for this one. What happens if we use 30? Or look at everyone else's results and see what other results did they get? So we can try this in different ways. We can see, did everyone else have one that had a lot more than the other? Or were they pretty evenly distributed? Now, there's a one in six chance, right? Because we have six of these of where the blueberries are going to go. So theoretically, if we did this enough times, they maybe should, should be evenly distributed, but not necessarily, right? Because we have an equal chance of getting each one every time. So it can be quite complicated if we extrapolate this into how mathematically it all works, but it gives you an idea of how this will work out when you try it and distribute those blueberries across each of the pancakes. So go ahead and try it. If you want to try 30 blueberries, see what you get. Is there a, what do you think the likelihood if you're going to do 30 blueberries if you have 30 blueberries total, that one's going to have more than six blueberries. What do you think the likelihood that there's going to still be some maybe with less than two blueberries? See if you can make some predictions of what you think might happen based on what you see here in your first time around and see if you can try to guess of what's going to happen in the next time around. Or tally up all the class results, but before you do, see if you can predict what the results might be. All right, enjoy your pancakes, enjoy your blueberries, and have fun distributing them with your dice.